Okay, folks. Cynthia G is probably going to love this one. I suspect as soon as the word comes out and it's identified, you know, uh, actually publicly identified because it's going on on Twitter right now. But the guy that you see in this picture, Botham Shem John, he was actually the man who was killed inside his apartment by a police officer who claims that she entered the wrong apartment and got surprised by the person that lived there. And she fired a shot. And I got suspicious when I heard it was a white female police officer. All of a sudden, yep, you're right. You're right. My uh, spidey sense was tingling immediately when I heard it was a white female police officer. And the next thing I wondered, what was the the color of the dude. When I see he happened to be black, then guess, guess what? My spidey sense went into overdrive. Now, I'm not gonna show you the, um, the woman's picture or give you her name because this is YouTube and until it becomes official, I'm not gonna comment on her. I'm not gonna comment on her, give her a name or her picture. Uh, anybody can put in um, Botham Shim John's um, name into Twitter and you can find out exactly who she is and what she looks like. But when they gave the story that uh, he lived on the, uh, she lived on the second floor, I do believe, and, and he lived on the third floor. And she had just gotten off her shift, a 12 hour shift at the Dallas Police Department. And she was still in uniform. Cause at first I thought she, she was off duty. You know, she was out of uniform and she was drunk or she was high or something like that and she made a mistake. But I don't know too many officers that actually get loaded in uniform. So I don't think she was high. In fact, I tend not to believe that she was high. That's number one. Number two, if she wasn't high, how do you, one, go on the, go to the wrong floor? Even if you're loaded, you know, you basically your autopilot would take you, take you to the right floor. And then if you go to the wrong door and your key doesn't work, you look at the the uh, apartment number because all the apartments are numbered in this particular building. And the fact that she let herself inside tells me that, or at least informs me that she had a key. And if she had a key, when I first heard it, that means she knew the dude. And if she had a key to the dude's apartment that day they were dating. And all of a sudden, you know, guess what happened? My Spidey, since was really tingling and was actually going, you know, ballistic. So today I decided to go on Twitter and look him up and to put in Dallas police officer and guess what came up? Came up with her name. Again, came up with pictures of her and him. Saw a couple of pictures of her and him because they basically sanitized her social media. So whatever was in her Twitter, whatever was in her Facebook is probably gone. A few people have went early and actually saved a couple of pictures, but there's a picture of her and him in there. Now, this is preliminary and this is just my spidey sense tingling. You know, I can't prove it. And until it's announced, I can't really speculate too much because this is YouTube. But it, from what I'm hearing on Twitter, that this chick, this officer is his ex. And he used some BDE magic on her that she wasn't able to let go. Now, she says um, she entered the apartment. Now, how do you enter an apartment? You didn't kick it in. It, they, there was no sign of forced entry. Did you knock on the door until he lets you in? Did the key work? What? And in any case, you knew the dude. Uh, you probably, I don't know whether she had an argument with him or he wouldn't let her in the apartment and she drew. I have no idea what's, what was happening, but the thing is she fired one shot and then she called 911 right afterward. Her neighbor filmed her walking back and forth, which is something we haven't seen yet. But there are pictures of her uh, walking back, you know, walking back and forth on the phone while she's trying to call help. So this may be a, a get out scenario where dating a white woman can be 
hazardous to your can be hazardous to your health. So basically, you have to date white women with a little bit of caution. Well, evidently, bro is not from here. He's a foreigner. I'm trying to remember. I think he was from the island of Antigua. I'm not quite sure. I think it was Antigua. So the brother is not from here and he doesn't know the full ramifications of dating Becky. And especially if Becky's a patrol officer with a gun. And maybe they got into a fight. And since the brother's kind of large, she might have felt fear for her life. I mean, truly fit for her life and took a shot at him. Or it may just may be uh, she was in a jealous rage. We don't know. But the thing is, when I follow the breadcrumbs and breadcrumbs start to form a straight line, it's hard to ignore. But I could be wrong, which is why I'm not mentioning her name or showing her picture. Uh, do your own homework and draw your own conclusions. But uh, I fully suspect Cynthia G to actually unload on this dude. And in this case, I wouldn't blame her. That's not to condone what the cop did. She needs to stand trial and actually go to jail for manslaughter. Unarmed dude in his own apartment and you're the officer of the goddamn law. Supposed to have better control and better temper temperament than that. Not supposed to shoot somebody over a lack of dick, in my opinion. But with that, short and sweet, I'm going to jump off of here. This is BGS out and uh, I'll see you on the update because I'm sure... We haven't heard the last of this. And once the black women get a hold of this one, uh, we might run into like another month's worth. But anyway, BGS out. Peace.